Alright, so I hope the first part of this video was helpful for you guys. Now we are in the kitchen and first off, if you are ever going to buy a house or sell one and <laughs> this is happening, don't do it. Just, we're going to rip out this damn kitchen because I don't know what they were thinking. But, they put in cabinets, let me show you, above this, above the counter. So the problem is, if I want to cut on the counter, this is in the way, and it's a pain in the butt. So, don't buy a house with a kitchen like that unless you plan on remodeling, because it sucks. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so first off, we are going to just clean up, this is the neck, and we just need to clean it up just a little bit, but I'm going to pretty much leave it the way it is. We're just going to take out the esophagus, and it's just going to be a really nice roast. Okay. So this is pretty much good. There's a little bit of fat on here. Not too bad. So I am not a butcher, never have been. This is just how I cut the meat. We do like a lot of roasts. Come on. Just trying to cut off that first layer here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to change knives. This one is too big. Alright. There's this hard piece in the neck. And it's what helps the animal, the goat, keep his head up. So you definitely want to remove that. You can see the white there, thick tendon or whatever it is. So we don't like to waste anything. So the stomach and intestines that we took out of the goat went to the chickens. And then the legs go to the dog so they have something to gnaw on. We kept all the organs. The head will go to the dogs too. They can just eat it. The organs we save Sometimes we'll use it for fishing because going after big old catfish, they like the liver and the heart and kidneys and all that good stuff. And, uh, but we're having some issues with our cat and she needs more liquid food in her diet. So all the scrap will definitely go to her. All right, so that looks a lot better. Got rid of all that fat and the like 
membranes and stuff. So this is a really nice roast for the crock pot. All right, these are the belly flaps, and I'm going to clean these up, and we're going to try goat bacon this time. So, kind of same thing, we're just going to get rid of the membranes here, just clean it up a little bit. Definitely a pain. Sometimes if I'm lucky, it's pretty slippery though. This kind of stuff will just rip off. But it's not going to cooperate for me this time. So we'll just keep on going. I'm having difficulties, of course. There we go. All right. So now we're going to trim off the side here. Alright, that looks pretty good. So we'll cut that up later. Do the other one.
be a lot easier if I had three hands or four, ten, never know. <laughs> Goodness, I need like a meat weight instead of a paper weight so it'll sit still. And of course, the guys left me, so I gotta do the rest of this by myself. Here we go. Okay. Same thing. We're going to clean up the edges here. That side. Okay. Now that one's done. So we'll come back and we'll cut those into strips for bacon size. All right, so we got our front leg here. Now these I like to just use as roast. So we're just gonna go where the joint is. This whole piece will be a roast. And then, so it's just gonna cut in half. So just follow the joint. You can see the ball right there, hopefully. <laughs> Trying to stay in the camera. All right, so there's our two roasts. We got one there and one there. Do the same with this one. Two more roasts. Next we have the back leg. And we've got our saw here. We're going to cut off the end.
then cut off this end. at the counter. There we go. look at the leg and this is where we're going to cut some stakes off on this one it would be a lot easier excuse me if this was frozen the meat wouldn't move around so much We're just going to do what we can. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a nice steak. This one didn't come out so well. Yeah, I definitely know this would be a lot easier if the meat was frozen. Then it would cut more smooth. But, anywho. So we may just make this into some stew meat. I think that sounds pretty good. try better on the other other side
All right. <clears throat> so this side, if I do it right, Cut right down the center. And then once that's cut, cut it off the bone. The bone was kind of helping hold it steady. off this membrane all right then usually I'll make the rest of this a roast small roast. So we'll just cut off the membrane here. All right, so here's the other leg. Let's do it. I think we're gonna leave this one whole. I wanted to get some steaks, but this guy's not like super meaty. He wasn't very old. So I think we're gonna leave this one. I think maybe that's why I was just having some issue with getting steaks off of him. So we're just gonna cut this main bone off. And then we can use what's left here to put with another smaller roast or with the stew meat. Come on. 
Here we go. Didn't want to let go. Here we go. All right. Now this would be that saddle or the back straps. So typically, I know you'd like to cut your chops out of here, but we love this roast, so we're going to leave it whole. Alright, and lastly we have the ribs, so we're going to split these. Arthritis is killing me. Okay, then we're going to do the other side. Maybe in a minute. <laughs> Alright, I got them split after a little bit of cussing and alright, so now that they're split, take out that guy. And then I'm gonna set one over here. Now some people will cut the chops out of here with the rib meat, but I've not had goat ribs yet, because there's really not a whole lot of meat on them, but I kind of would like to try it. I normally, as bad as it is, give the ribs to the chickens, because I don't want to mess with it, but I think we'll try it this time. So we're just going to clean them up a little bit. And then we're going to cut them in half.
hard to hold them. There we go. All right, and then we'll just cut this meat. And we've got a nice set of ribs there. And then, ooh, that almost flew off the counter. And then we've got this. I think we'll just cook it like that. I don't know. I'm kind of done right now. That's pretty much the last of it. We'll do the other side of the ribs. But I'm, I'm exhausted. And I'm going to have Brandon hopefully finish it up. But I'm done. Alright, well I hope that this video was helpful. I'm not the best at butchering. I just kind of, I'm mostly like roasts with my meat. So, I'm not, you know, there's probably better videos out there. But that's just what we do with our goats. So, anyway, I guess we'll see you guys next time, okay?